ओम नमो भगवते राम कृष्णाय लेसन्स फॉर लाइफ फ्रॉम स्वामी जगदात्मानंद जीज इंस्पायरिंग बेस्ट सेलर लर्न टू लिव वॉल्यूम वन चैप्टर टू इन्फिनेट पावर इज हिडन विद इन यू अंडर दिस टॉपिक स्वामी जगदात्मानंद जी हैज डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हिप्नोथेरेपी hypnotherapy is a use of hypnosis in psychotherapy it is practiced by certified hypnotherapists it is regarded as a type of alternative medicine modern hypnotherapy is used to treat addictions fears and phobia pain management various psychosomatic disorders etc so swami jagdatmanand ji under this topic the secret treasure of the deeper mind has discussed about the tremendous possibilities of human mind the secret treasure of the deeper mind studies have been carried out for the past 150 years to explore the hidden treasures of the deeper layers of the mind using the technique of hypnosis only recently after various objections and protests has the technique received the acceptance and approval of scientists the opinion of an eminent scientist like j b s halday is worth noting one who has studied even one example of hypnosis may imagine the kind of wonder that can take place in future and guess the miraculous possibilities of the human existence innumerable medicines obtained by researchers in the field of medicine considered magical at the beginning were responsible for the great revolution in the field of health Similarly if the laws relating to the control of the powers of the human mind are brought to the level of general acceptance they may change the shape of the world the secrets that could be obtained by means of hypnosis were known even a thousand years ago to only a few individuals in different communities lately scientific experiments and investigations have been conducted in this field according to a report published a few years ago there were about 4000 dental surgeons in america who were trained in hypnosis in hypnotherapy today many more are being trained in the skill by 1950 more than 6000 physicians obtained training in hypnosis and used it in the treatment of patients psychologists and psychiatrists are not included in this number in 1958 the american medical council appointed a committee to study the nature of hypnosis it recommended in its report that in the treatment of certain diseases the technique of hypnotherapy could be used in hospitals but a fear perhaps unfounded persists in the minds of many that the special skill could be abused as a means of exploitation by ignorant half-baked men and by selfish individuals and crooks The progress achieved in this field in Russia is marvelous. Even as long as 30 years ago, Russian experts had passed the stage of experimentation and observation and found the specific uses of hypnosis. They had used hypnotherapy for inducing anesthesia while treating patients. they had mastered the art of controlling many diseases which were not amenable to modern drugs for instance they had permanently weaned away habitual drunkards from the addiction to drinking they had saved many addicts using the techniques from the deadly effects of the addiction to morphine They had been successful in curing many varieties of physical and mental ailments. 
they had been able to establish the relationship between the minute complexes in the depths of the mind. And acute ailments like inflammation of glands, acute pains and shock and were able to give relief to these conditions which were strong enough to dwarf the human personality. In this context, we should remember the views of two more scientists who stressed the need to understand the nature and power of the human mind and the importance of exploring extrasensory experiences. Famous psychiatrist Sigmund Freud said, If I were to start my life once again, I would devote my life to the study of extrasensory perceptions rather than psychoanalysis. Nikolai Tesla said, Once science starts exploring the origin of extra-physical or extrasensory experiences, it would achieve just in one decade the development that it could achieve in all the past centuries. According to the Russian scientist Dr. Veslev, the exploration of the energy behind extrasensory knowledge is equal in significance to the exploration of the atomic energy. To the so-called intellectuals of this country, India, who claim to have the monopoly of all scientific minds and who, having not even the elementary acquaintance with extrasensory research, claim to be votaries of realism. It may be hard to digest that Russia has been exhilarating research in this field. It seems some of our countrymen regard it the objective of science to attack what they don't know as blind belief rather than to explore truth. But truth, as we know, does not depend upon anybody's relief. Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Tatsat Shri Ram Krishna Rupanam Astu